Let's say you're a Cyania octopus and you don't care for the burgundy red color of your skin. How about something in a, oh, say, pale pink? No problem. <laughs> Done. You just expand or shrink the millions of pigment cells, or chromatophores, in your skin to instantly change color. You can also use tiny muscles in your skin to change its texture. Now, a kind of snakeskin print might be just the thing for a fashionable octopus trying to blend in with the smart set. Fashionable and low-key. Off the radar of any hungry sharks passing by. And nobody here, just another rock formation. <laughs> Once that danger is passed, it's time for prey to become predator. Here's some remarkable close-up footage of a Cyania octopus going hunting. What are you looking for? Crustaceans and mollusks that are as good at hiding as you are. Well, almost. Here's a Cyanea's eye view of a reef flat that seems like nothing but a couple of billion hidey holes. Of course, that's where your amazing tentacles come in handy. You literally feel your way across the cracks and crevices. Your suckers are so sensitive, you can actually use them to taste what you touch. Aha! You sense a meal. That means it's time to unfurl yourself like an exterminator's tent engulfing a termite-filled house. Your prey is trapped. Your grip is sure. Your arm tips go to work, flushing out bits of food and disappearing them into your maw. Until recently, no one knew what was happening underneath your web. Don't ask us how, but we're going to reveal your dining habits, Senior Cyania. Here's what's going on. This crab gets thrust into what's called your beak. Your bite has a little toxin, just enough to seal the crab's doom. Now that we know what's going on under that web, we don't ever need to see that again, do we?